Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 594. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 591 to 595. Hey, uh, someone here at Highline asked, hey, I need a formula to calculate how old everyone is, how many years, or how young they are, how many years they've been alive. All right, so you have a cell with the uh, birthday, and you want to always just have today. So you use the today function. This is an argumentless function. Wouldn't it be great if there was such a thing for marriage, right? An argumentless marriage. You could just type in some function that says no arguments marriage and not put any arguments there. And uh, No, that's a bad joke. Sorry. So today, it's an argument func argumentless function. It just means you don't put anything there. Every day that you open this, tomorrow it'll say 5, 8, the next day 5, 9, etc. So uh, the goal here was to just automatically have years. So as the days, if you open this up in three years, it'll say how old you are on that particular day. Now we're going to use the dated if function. I have a great video, Excel Magic Trick 5151, that shows basically all the possibilities for the dated if. But here we're just going to use the dated if. It will, sub it will give us. Um, two dates. I mean, we put in a, a begin and an end date and tell, her, tell it that we want years and it will calculate exactly years. The problem, sometimes you see formulas like this. Oh, whatever the end date is minus the begin date, right? Divided by 365, right? Well, that's okay. And then you could um, uh, you know, do int or something like that. Um, but we want to do the dated if. Now, I always call this, uh, I always say dated if, and someone uh, put a comment. It's not dated, it's date diff, right? <laughs> dated if, right? So uh, open parentheses. Now, this is an undocumented function in Excel. I didn't mean to click that. So. You can try to go up here, right? Um, and there's not really much help for this function. So you have to kind of ha know how to type this one in. Whoops, equals, I did it again, equals dated if. Now, I can never remember whether you have to put the end one in first or the beginning one, but I'm going to try. I'm going to say uh, I'm going to put the end one, comma, begin one, comma, and Y is for year, M is for month, D is for day. Again, this video has every single possible detail you'd want about this. I'm going to put uh, uh, Y in quotes, right? So there it is. It just takes the end, the begin date, and Y's. Oh, what's that? That must mean I forgot. And sure enough, I probably did. I'm going to do something weird here. I'm going to move this over here on this green one over here. In there, I'm using that move cursor. So now that I just switched the arguments around, so now it's the begin and then the end. And sure enough, that comes out uh, fine. And pretty much, I don't use the date the date diff function very often, and I always forget. But I know I'll try it one way. If it works, fine. If it doesn't, I'll do it the other way. All right, that's years alive. If you if this changes or this one, right? So you say um, 82. It'll automatically update. All right, that's how old you are. We'll see you next trick.